communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsol's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, yeah, I'm wrong. All right. Pony, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms or our story building three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in... Musa? No. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm Late start um, of our proceedings this morning. Imam, you have the floor, please. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> Sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa taslima Subhana rabbika rabbil ishati amma yashifun Wa salamun ala al-musalina wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Amen. Shukran Imam C. Bishop, you have the floor, please. Chairman, Lord God Almighty, 
We continue to thank you for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace, and your love to the people of this land, uh, this nation, the Gambia. We thank you for the past week, and we thank you for ushering us to begin of another new week. As we begin our sitting this morning hour, the TRRC, we continue to ask that you do have mercy for the wrongs that have been done and been committed here many years past, for the evil that have been done from one person to another, even those who were supposed to protect and defend the law misused the authority. We do ask that you have mercy upon uh, these feelings in this land, and that, Lord, you continue to, con to correct uh, the situation as we sit in the TRRC, that wrongs will be righted, and that the hot will be, will be those that are hot will be pacified by your Holy Spirit power, and we continue to come in, pray that reparations and all other necessary things will be in place in order that justice will take place in this land. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Bishop. Uh, Council, we're having a bit of a late start, but are we ready with uh, uh, witness them uh, this morning. If we are, please proceed. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, and members of the audience. Uh, we are ready to start, and we apologize for the lateness. The witness uh, was sent on track uh, up the provinces during the weekend, so he has only been able to make it now, having traveled all the way from Farafenye. To, to, to get here. Um, so we apologize for the late start, but he's here nonetheless, and hopefully he would give us good testimony. Thank you. Bring in the witness, please. <coughs> Understood. Um, uh, thank you very much for the ex explanation. I believe um, uh, we are continuing with the theme on uh, attack on uh, civil servants and senior. Public and officials. That, um, or public officers. Public officers. OK. Thank you. Thank you.
Council, can we um, continue? Is that okay? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. The witness is being ushered in. Thank you. Thank you. I love in Job. I love in Job. Man, man, love in Job. Love in uh, so interpretable. Lucky all of mm -hmm. uh, you. Got uh, repeat them. Okay. I love in Job. Man, love in Job. I love in Job. Man, man, love in Job. Love in. You are all of the people who are interpreting the word. I am 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 and nothing but the truth. Te duma wah dara lidit diga. Nothing just it. Duma wah dara ganau diga. So help me God. Yel nama yala dimbali. Nama yala dimbali. You may be seated, please. Nunga talk. Good morning, Mr. Job. Welcome to the TRRC. Uh, my name is Esa Mbaifal. Uh, my role today is to assist you to deliver your testimony to the Commission. Thank you. Moi purunga johesa sede, nda commission bidega ko. Moi nga johesa sede, pru commission bidega ko. As you already know, we are speaking in different languages. Kom ka yek gade nyunga ya wasi ayla ka yubari. You should allow uh, for whatever I say to be interpreted into the world of language for you to understand. Kon nga nga deglu tuti. And if you do not understand a question, please ask uh, me to uh, explain it for you to better understand. And also allow for about three seconds between speeches so that uh, the speeches would not overlap. Okay. Um, so uh, again, welcome to the TRRC. Betay nyula dalal fi TRRC. You have sworn to speak the truth. What ngane degarek ngai wah? So let us start the hearing. Legi muna nyodor. Could you tell us your full names, please? Munga nyawah satur aksesanta. Lamin Job. I am Lamin Job. Mr. Job, uh, could you draw the microphone closer to you? Nga, the microphone will be closer to you. And get to Lamin Job. Good. My name is Lamin Job. Good. And speak up and into the microphone so that we can hear you properly. So, I want to ask you, but I want to ask the microphone to you, so that you can hear me again. You said your name is Lamin Job. Nga, I want to ask Lamin Job. What is your death? And place of birth. Ban besinga judo ak for judo judo 1965. 
I was born in 1965. August. August. 38. August 38. Bandeka. Banjul. I was born in Banjul. Uh, tell us briefly your biographical information. Where you went to school, what work you do, and where? Wah, nyu silu gatarek yo fanga dem fanga jange lo lo di def binga jange ban fasong liga inga def. Liga Gambia Post Authority. I worked at the Gambia Post Authority, but before working, mm -hmm. before you started work you went through some form of schooling. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about your educational background. Balanga Dor Ligay, the farm for Jaron, Finga Jange, Wanu Yo, Yan Ekolonga Dem, Finga Jange. And the Jange Mohammedan School means school. School, school, sorry. Mohammedan School. I went to the Mohammedan School. And when did you go to Mohammedan School? Kanga Dem. Mohammedan school. 1975, 75, 76, 77, 78. So I studied from 1975 to 1978, and then I went to Fulabantang to study the Quran. I was taken there by my father. Proceed, please. Continue. After I left there, so I knew. I came. I the Gambia Post Authority, and uh, began working at the Gambia Post Authority. Uh, which year did you start working at the Gambia Post Authority? Ban at Ngador delegate to Gambia Post Authority. 2003. 2003. I started working at the Gambia Post Authority in 2003. You've said 2003. Yeah. All right. Uh, but prior to 2003, you were involved in uh, national politics, mm -hmm. weren't you? Bala 2003, you were politics. I I was involved in politics. Uh, could you tell us about it? Miri politics bobu. Uh, since 2006. Yes, since 2006. La in politics before UDP no Tami PPP. I was into politics before the UDP came into existence. Are you, time the PPP. Are you talking about 2006 or 1996? 90, sorry, 1996 when the UDP. Sorry, in 1996 when the UDP was formed. And uh, uh, have you ever attended a UDP rally during that time? Wahtu bo, na musunga teo chirali bo hamne UDP nyole frali bi. Wah musunga kote ne. Yes, I was uh, witnessed. And which rally was that in 1996? Bo bo ban rally ban rally la wanchi 1996. The founding bena in Federal Street. They had one in Federal Street. Uh, when was that? Was it in 1996 or was it in later years, as in 2002? Uh, the, uh, 1996, rally. After that year, there was a rally. Uh, in your statement, you talked about a rally by the UDP at Federal Street in 2002. Mm -hmm. Can you remember that? It was a rally in 2002 in Federal Street. Can you remember that? Yes, I can recall that one. Uh, could you tell us about that rally and mm -hmm. what happened? I can tell you the rally in the rally. When that rally took place, 2002. In 2002, when I was there, she organizing committee. 
I was a part of the organizing committee. When we came to arrange the seats on the highway, so you arrange what After we arranged, so the need were new, and then they began to come in. How many you second trough, sir? Until they were a little bit uh, many. So, see the police you. That was when the police arrived. I P I U officers. Some P I U officers. What time of the day did this happen? Bobo, balwa chula won ti bechek bi lilolo hewe. Around four to five coming four to five dal. It was between four and five. Uh, at this stage, were the UDP senior officials present? What to Bobo? Nda klifa yune kachi pati UDP bi. Nda time Bobo nyom nyole feke nanyko. Bobo ken aksengut. At that time, none of them arrived. We were the only ones on the ground organizing, and you had uh, some people who were coming in. Women, men, men, and others were all coming in. So you told us the PIU arrived. Yes, they came there with their vehicle. Did they say anything? Yes, they said something. When they came, they alighted from their vehicle. They came with their masks and their defenders and others. What do you mean by defenders? Are you talking about seals? Yes, the seals they normally hold to block any stones thrown at them. And uh, how many of them arrived? It was a full pickup. It was a full pickup. Up to 20 to 24 dollars. Full pickup. Between 20 and 24. It was a full pickup. And uh, did they say what they wanted? Yes, they said so when they arrived. Uh, do you recall who they spoke to? Yes, because they spoke to me. I was the one on the ground at that time. And what did they say? They called me and told me that they've got instructions to uh, cancel that meeting. I told them that we had a permit. The permit be police and that that permit was issued by you yourselves, the police. So we know you from state house they have order. But they said they got their orders from state house. And that meeting was to be cancelled. The UDP was not going to hold that meeting there. When they said that they got their instructions from state house, what did they mean? When they said that they got their instructions from state house, do you know who in state house or from state house they were referring to? The guy was here, Nyom. Yeah, instructions because at that time he was the one who would give orders. And when they said they received orders from State House that this meeting or this rally should not proceed, you understood him to mean that it was your Yaya Jami who instructed that the meeting be stopped from happening. So the guy was here, order the state house to jogi. So Lulu, the facility owner, order the Yaya Jame Moko Joke, put in your lane, put in and cancel meeting. Lulu, that was what happened. Uh, Mr. Chair, we allow for a change of interpreters. Uh, the world of interpreter has just arrived and is settling in. Thank you. So, and uh, when you told them that you have a permit and that the permit was issued by the police, uh, what did they say? Banglen uh, wahene amgen permit. The permit be police nyolen kojo nyom nyuwa. Wa nyom dengi dal misingi dafarich. It all means. 
well, they said that the meeting had to stop by all means. And what happened after that? There was a, a lot of push and pull between us. You told us that they were about 24 in number. How many party supporters were with you? We are many. Because we you wouldn't be able to count because the whole place was filled up. But at this stage, has the party leadership arrived? Can you tell you by that time? At that time, none of them came. Organizing stage be agree. We organized the stage and all other things. But it was us, the militants, who were on the ground. So you talked about this push and pull. Could you describe this push and pull? Make us understand what was happening on the ground at that time. The push and pull was this. They came and uh, said that uh, the meeting was not going to hold and we uh, said that the meeting was going to go ahead. We said to them at this point in time we are ready for anything. Is either the meeting holds or we kill each other here with you? So we were there and uh, there was a lot of uh, quarrel. The women got up. The men got up. Some took uh, the seats. In those days, the plastic chairs were not yet in circulation. You had the uh, iron chairs. So the two sides got up and started attacking each other. The, the police officers, the, or the PIU as you call them, were they armed with any forms of weapons? Yes, there was a sergeant who was deputizing the SI. AK-47. He was having an AK-47. And by SI you mean sub-inspector? Yeah, he's a sub-inspector. Uh, and he had an AK-47. Yeah. How about the other, the, the other officers? You know, send party in action. You know, defend us. They had their batons and their shields, but the sergeant who was uh, next to the SI had an AK-47. stand by on. He was on standby. When things got uh, mixed up, he stood aside. He pulled the trigger. At that time, they, they were being uh, the, the stones were being thrown at them. You were being pelted with stones. Thank stones. you, sir. Yeah. We, in fact, we fought with them there. I was beaten. Six of them, they the pickup. Six of them, and they put us on top of their pickup. Uh, tell us about the beating. Your own beating. I was beaten with, with their batons on all parts of my body. After my flat. Until I went into a coma. I became unconscious. Mm -hmm. Unconscious. I became unconscious. He fainted. I, I fainted. But I'm not without straps. I'm not dali. It does not tank. Yaram did stop. They were stamping on, on me with their boots. On, they were walking on my body. So she lay my jail, jammed my pickup. That was when I was thrown onto the pickup. Sergeant Bumala wanted to go to jail for the victim. That sergeant I told you about took the gun and uh, faced me. When I was so fit to get in the lorry, and said to me, "If you get up here, we are going to kill you." Do, do you recall that sergeant's name? You wouldn't recognize them because they were putting on their mask. But the SO, 
Kama Sawani. I heard, I think they were calling him Sawani. You see referring to ESO or SI? SI, Ladal, something like that. Mumu, lead guy. It was the SI or something like that. He was the one leading them. And were you the only person who was thrown into the pickup vehicle? They did. No. I was the first to be thrown onto the pickup. And uh, what happened to the others? They arrested them. After beating them, they were also thrown on board the pickup. Were you all men or were there also some women? There, uh, those that were arrested were all men. How many of you were arrested? We are six in number. Do you recall who the other five were? Fatele kunga yenen juro mi nyan len. Wa muna je fatele kunyar. Yes, I can recall two. Kena ki mugitula faba kari sonko, mugitaka esewu. One is called faba kari sonko, is in, is from esewu. Kena ki abla njai la tuda. The other one is abla njai. Mugitaka mayamba. A resident of Mayamba. Mm -hmm. uh, but the rest, I cannot recall their names. Uh, could you tell us the injuries that you sustained? They beat me with buttons on my body. They were stamping on me. Mm -hmm. Some were kicking me. So you have no feel all of those, I am still feeling it up to today. Once in a while, I feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. and I go to the hospital for checking. Especially when the, the, the cold season comes. Oh, so comes encounter in injuries, that is when I encounter a lot of injuries. Even where I am seated, there, are, there is something that I am feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But can you describe the physical injuries that you had during that time? One is here. It's 24 stitches. 24 stitches here. This happened on that incident yeah, in 2002. Because of the buttons that they were hitting me and I was uh, using my hand to defend. Uh, could you could you stand up and uh, show the commissioners? Could you can come nearer, just a bit nearer so that they could see. Okay, all right, thank you very much. Mr. Chair, perhaps at the appropriate time we will take pictures, photographs of the injuries and, uh, and we would submit them. Munga talk. You said 24 stitches. Mm. Were those 24 stitches on one arm or on both arms? <laughs> All is in on the one hand because it, it affected my vein. I was uh, saved by God, otherwise my whole land would have been spoiled. It got to a point where I could not even stretch my hand. They usually massaged me. My sister usually helped me in the morning to massage my hand. Because they said that uh, the oil from the, the, the goat, uh, from the fat. Grip, fat of the goat, mm. is usually is, is good for it. That it used to, is good for the veins. Uh, it took a lot of, uh, couple of months when I where, where I used to put my hand in a sl in a sling. After I 
It was after they started massaging me that I started feeling my hand and uh, able to stretch it. Apart from injuries to your hands, did you suffer any other injuries? Ganau ganyu ganyu yinga amna kisa lohoi na amna yenen bo kisa yaram yo hamne ganyu gafa. Wow, shuma biri yaram be, shuma yahi. Dengma dur, amade internal injury. Yes. Shuma biri yaram be. Inside my body, my bones, I have internal pain. Did you suffer any bleeding during the time? Jaman ujo junda yang don nacha. Wow, nacha no shuma biri ganau ifi. Yes, I, I bled at the, my back. Madam bleed. I was bleeding. Mm. And uh, your five other colleagues who were also arrested with you, uh, were they also beaten? Say any juro minata and going to have me in Nippling arrest and Doron. Namim Tam Doron Nilian. Doro Medisa. Severe beating. Serious beating. And you described the beating that they sustained. Munga Yawa had Nam Tam Yan was in the door lane and don't do. After Bundu gets him to the ground, when you go police station. After we left the meeting uh, ground, uh, and now for now let's focus at the meeting ground. We would get to the issue, events that happened at the place. Mm -hmm. We just want to understand exactly what happened to all of you. What happened to me is the same thing that happened to them. They were beaten with buttons and also stamped on. But, but let's take for every single one of them. Were they being beaten by one person or by a group? They were all beating us. He said the driver. The driver did not talk on this bar. Except the driver who was seated by the steering wheel. Otherwise, all the others were involved. Uh, you mean to say about 24 PIU personnel yeah. armed with truncheons mm -hmm. or buttons mm -hmm. were assaulting the six of you? Mm -hmm. They were the ones beating us. Inside the pickup, in fact, even while we were on our way going, the beating continued. Uh, you mean that the six of you were on our way going, the beating continued? Your other colleagues, what types of injuries did they sustain? Say, I am not angry. I am not going to say anything. 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 I am not able to say, but it is obvious that they would get injuries. Because if they are beating you up and stamping on you and kicking you with their boots, uh, inevitably uh, you will sustain injuries. But I cannot say what kind of injuries they are, but I am sure they had injuries. Because where I got injuries, it's obvious that they too would. Because this, the manner in which I was being beaten was the same manner the others were beaten too. That is why I said I am sure that they would have injuries. And uh, tell us what happened when you arrived at the police station. When you learn how bang and get the police station. Then do go from Fiera to the police station direct. Then you watch the pick up the guy you bring to sell. Direct, don't need to sell. Direct. We left the Fiera Street and uh, got to the police station. As soon as we arrived, we were dumped inside a cell. Which police station were you taken to? Ban police station, Lenjen Yobon. Banjul police station. The Banjul police station at the Banjul police headquarters. Correct. Chama kani police ichi Banjul lawan. Fufu lawan tip. Main police station be in Banjul. That was. And uh, well, which cell were you taken to? Was it, did the cell at the station itself, or the cells, or other cells within the premises of the police headquarters? Yen yen cell len len dugalon cell ine kachi police station bichi ba pamla wala cell inga hamne nyowo police station bi. So do you actually be police? Chika na kontiwa bre mo is men cell dunga amuno rek fufu len nyowo nyonye. As you get inside behind the counter, the main cell there is where we were taken to. Were all six of you thrown into that cell? 
yen jurom ben yeb lañ sanni ci bir sel bi yeseem ñu meb lañ bole dom ñu ci bir sel bi yeseem all of us together dumped in the cell but were there any detainees in that cell prior to you being put in there bañ leena sanni ci bir sel bi ndax fekkon ngeen ken ko xamne ñu ko jappon fi bir sel bi fofu bu sel ba ngi fess de la ay nit the cell was full of people me ñoo me ñu ngi leen ci different people ñepp ngi fa different people who were under custody you are telling us that the full the cell was full with people mm. and yet they added another six uh, into the cell dang ni buga wax ni cell bi mu ngi fesson del ak nit ba pare ñu ñew yokkat ci yenen juroom ben ci bir cell bi waaw def def over fess ba ngam sa ñu dekk ci suuf ñu ngi da yes it was completely full up until we had to lie on the floor sam bo bi nga sini nga lal ko nga tida you will undress your shirt spread it on the ground and lie on it and you tell us about the conditions of that cell at that time ñu mëna wax jamono joju cell bi naka la melon yan anam la nekkon fa tilim torop it was very dirty par yang am bad scent you had a bad scent as well nu seven fu nekka la joge bok side and urine was coming from all sides su bor sete do mëna nokki fo jaar nga jël son wo in so bakan in the morning you will not be able to breathe you have to take something and cover your nose good you gëna miti tam it was uh, more difficult uh, during the nights man dama dam wani sa man suma halis nañ ci gëna gënal ñu mën tay ga way de de ñoo duñ ko def i used to suggest that they will use my money and buy uh, mosquito coils for us but they will say no they will not do it bu ñu nekk yoy di ñu mata and that was where we were been beaten by mosquitoes so rayen yi yoni dafa melni sax ganar go ray ni garet when you uh, kill the a mosquito you will think it's a, a hen because of the amount of blood cell bi yola the whole cell was filled up with mosquitoes how Amos. many of you were in that cell if can you recall so many people were there ñaa tanit ñe na nekkon ci cell more than 50 something people more than 50 something people were nekkon ci cell bi more than 50 people we are inside the cell and what's the size of that cell cell bi mom reyay bi naka la tollu did you show us by the cubicle that is right behind you mun nga ñu ko misalal rek ci cubicle bi nek sa ganaaw non aw cell bi nak cell bi dafa guda ni so duggé rek ci ubé bunta bi dafa guda when you open the door is a long cell why yatout what is not wide wow yang di am ay plywood tek ci concrete floor bi there were some plywood placed on the concrete floor lo ngi dey tek ci kaw concrete floor bi non plywood sunu fa tek the plywood were placed on the on the on top of the concrete floor plywood yo yeb mata la and all of those are plywood were bug infested ñun wala ñu tida dañu jël benn plywood bu dor ko ci suuf nga gis ni mata di drobe before we lay down we will normally hit those planks against the floor and you see the bed box So you don't do that, you If you don't do that, you would not be able to sleep. Man, damat ñun man particular eight nights lañ fa am eight nights man na ben ñom sax neewu mak dama day hol be bor set. Particularly I spent there eight nights but there has not been one single night where I was able to sleep. Parce que ñu ne raw yo because you are unable to sleep. The mosquitoes. Sa ngoo bu gaajel mu sama xol yi lo lu ta lo ñu ne raw. It's your shirt that you will take to tie your head and uh, despite that you will not be able to sleep so no no yo yo yang la mata mata yang la mata so no 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 if you don't sleep the mosquitoes are biting you and the bed, bed bugs too are biting you how about ventilation those cells were they well ventilated naka fo len de amé ngalaw nak cell bi amon na fen fo ngalaw di duggé waaw amna fu gaay ubi won ci os ci biti so tawé ci biti amna girias buñ fa defon yes there was a place that was opened there was a place which had a wire gas fofu la ngelaw bi di duwé that is where the, uh, the air comes in through fofu sa da nga dem sa so bugge gis nit da nga dem taw fofu o nga gis sa benn friend bu yoromba in fact that's the place you usually go to if you wanted to see someone outside why after they knew fatako but after that place was uh, closed how was it blocked was it blocked so that air cannot come in or was it blocked so that you could not see outside naka lañ ko faté dañ ko faté pour bu ngalaw dugga wala dañ ko faté pour bu leen mëna gis ci biti a first time dina sa fa nekkon di nga mëna gis ci biti before there was a uh, wire uh, gosh where you could see outside so after ci lañ ñu indi block seal ko completely 
Uh, it was after that that they brought in blocks and they completely sealed it off. There was no ventilation. No angle. There was no ventilation. You would not have air in. Nothing in the community for the local cell will be main door. Except if they brought in a new detainee and opened the main door. Sigas angle we do gasi. That was when you had air coming in. But uh, Mr. Job, there would undoubtedly be some little inlet uh, which would allow air into into the cell. Otherwise, all of you would have died. Why, Job? Had you been here, can I pass on down? We have not had you in the ubi. Fungalau did duge. Look how many are here. Nye bolen amungalau in the end there. Why amungalau? Why singalau amna fa? Because amna so duge chisel, so kireni. Well, we are just carol maragbi. Amna ay binti amna ay pa block holes. Yes, there was an outlet for uh, air to come in because uh, on the wall there were some little holes where the where air used to come in. But the police station will not fit in. But that was facing the police station. So I check on our county wall. So I'm going to carry off. If you stood behind the counter, you faced that place. How were you doing for food? Na kanga nonde fana chini leka. Leka de man hana suwa kir yomara ni leka. As for food, uh, my family was bringing me food. When they brought my food, I shared with people. When they brought my food, I shared with big people. It was usually a big bowl. The police used to provide food. There were people who cooked for them and they brought it in. prisoners diet. That is what they called the prisoners diet. I have not eat, eaten that. I could not even eat it. Why? Man, they were not able to eat it. So, they were not able to eat it. What happened? Don't cut down the leka. I am used to eating good food. I could not eat that kind of food. Because I'm Job Lasanda. Because I'm Eric Lalek. My son name is Job, and I eat only sweet things. We are not able to eat leka. We are not able to eat leka. It was only my family that could bring me food, which I was able to eat. You said um, that you were also beaten while you were in the cells. Tell us about that. That was in the night. Kurila gaida no sumai. They used to come in the night. Accent back in Sini sumai. I host pipe with their buttons. Yeah, I host pipes. Yeah, I'm a Ghanaian lemar. So of them had. They had whips, and that's what they used to beat us up. Get Geni Lemar. That's a whip. Geni Lemar, Ramon. I don't know how to say Lemar. Yeah, that's a whip, I suppose. Lemar, Ben, Rabla, Bune, Kishi, Gech. That's an animal in the sea. Shinko, Nafe, Denko, De, Krai, Vapare, Leliko. After they uh, fish it out, they used to. Um, it's the skin of an octopus. They, they flay it. it. Octopus? Or, no, it's not. It's a baby shark, I think. It's a Just baby like a shark. shark. Yes, it's a uh, baby, baby shark. Baby shark, yeah. That is uh, that is cut and dried mm -hmm. and weaved into a whip. Ah. Uh, I understand it is deadly. <laughs> ah. You know, it is. Well, if they flay it as fresh as it is. And uh, they dry it up before it gets completely dry. They weave it into a form. So no And that is how it dries up. Until it gets completely dry. And if, it, if it is dried up, it uh, remains in that shape. It doesn't uh, revert to any other thing. So yeah, if you measure it, it can be of this length. And they will uh, bore a hole at the tip there and then put a string there. And then they will put it on their hands usually. And then come in the night. And uh, they come and uh, touch us seriously. All the eight nights we had there, we are accompanied with beatings. Did you sustain any injuries? Yes, in the middle of my back. 
they will not just beat you up with that way. Many make hose pipe like and come water pipe in your limb. Some had hose pipes like the black water pipes. Some are hitting here, others are hitting over there. But you were about 50 plus in the cell. How did they know who to beat? No, you know, you, 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 you don't fucking it at Darala one. Chibir cell, Bobo. Naka when you have a can a You mean Gili, you mean arrest from the political ground. Those of us that were arrested from the political ground. You mean you do. We were the ones they were beating. Yellow Bokun. The others were not among. So how do they recognize you when they arrive in the cells? They bring you guys to Chibir cell, be. Naka when you have a yen 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 and you to political ground. How many you do? They know, they know us, of course, because they arrested us. They arrested us. So you need a new desiki. Call you new 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 neighbor. When they come, they used to uh, select us and uh, and call us to a side. So when they don't get inside, they do. That was how we were being taken aside and beaten up. Do you recognize any of the uh, officers who were involved in beating you? You know how many officers are in the door? Not how many one got chicken? I don't know how many because they all maska. You would not be able to recognize them because they wore masks. Because good enough. And because it was in the night, do you know which force or which unit in the forces they belong to? You don't know. Now, how many people fan the line by a coach? You are the good carang. PIU officers. They were PIU officers. They no longer wear uniforms. They are against them. They will remove their uniform and only had single have singlets on them. You know, you know, you put torture. You don't like this. They no longer wear many uniforms. They are against them. T-shirt. When they are coming for the torture sessions, they will remove their uniform and only come in their singlets. And then put on their helmets. You know, uh, that way to recognize someone is going to be very difficult. Uh, you said you were beaten every night for the eight nights you were there. Uh, how long would each torture session last? Daman ulin yang di door nak nak kalau dia tol lucu waktu. Araf dia nak around one pm, one am, one you know two pm. Cileng dia yang. Ciban dir. Api door binum dia tol. Araf dia mesti nak drop. Araf dia jaga. It's usually very hard and it takes a long time. Then you do over thirty minutes. We'll be beaten for well over thirty minutes. Do them. And then they will depart. So good evening. The next night, another team will come in. But then they change duties because they used to change duties. While, let's take a step back to the uh, aborted rally. Uh, apart from the fact that they did not want this rally to go ahead, did they say anything about the UDP? Ni dah lu ganau tu tu nak kira liba boh bunga ham ne mom leng terawan. Ganau ne nak bufar la liba am. Dah am na dah lu ham ne wohon neng kalu aju semiri parti UDP. Wah wohon neng kura. Bubari sa. Yes, they said many things. Can you tell us? Munga nyu kawa. Wah nyu na UDP nyu muda jamu amu cidekan. They said it is because of the UDP that is why there is no peace in the country. Problem bunga kaji gambi mifu UDP aku dek create. That any problem that is in this country is been created by the UDP. You know, anti ayah jame. And that they were the anti ayah jame. Mana ko ayah jame fujar nengko against the president. I said to them, ayah jame must be opposed at all cost. Munnya ko muna record nengko against. Whether he likes it or not, we will oppose him. Maski lima dua hal ciri yang correct tu. Because what he is doing in the country is not correct. And of course, this this was in 2002. Yes. Hello, atom 2002 lah. Mak sila buka. All was part of it. Uh, but um, is it also true that these party militants who were on the ground were attacking the PIU forces? Nah, dega lata minat ne, wah parti UDP, nyungun songa, nyinga hamne nyoy PIU i parai. Wah nyungun songa, bi jaman ke nyung her. Yes, they were attacking them and they were pelting each other with stones. And fati laku ni sa sajin sa dua ruak kau guman, kau guman. I remember that the sajin himself, I hit him with an iron chair. And regardless of what the police did. Uh, you know very well that 
it's in fact a criminal offense in this country to assault a police officer lu uté sax police yi lolu nga xamné def nañ ko ndax xam ngeen né lu wa nangout nga dal ci kaw ki nga xamné police la wa lolu mom dégal parce que ñom ni ñëw suñu kaw la lolu mota that is true but is the manner in which they came to us so ñëw peacefully if they had come peacefully dañ ñu wax doole they came forcefully did you act in self defense you are under oath did you act in self defense or did you attack them da nga wadde ndax yow da ngi don da ngi don don songa ngir da ngi don sowé sen bop wala yeen da ngi len songa rek waaw parce que ñun buñ ñu songé ñun dor ñu ba paré ci la suñu gaay jokk lañ attack yes after the attackers beat us up that was when our people got up and also started attacking them parce que meeting la because it was a meeting ci so ñëw attack ay militants ci meeting in political ground mu nekk mu na ci happen if you attack the militants in a political meeting uh, anything can happen So, so, it's just it's just like a field wrestling contest so funeka la joge everywhere it was coming from all over the world that was how it was mm. um, thank you very much uh, so you were in detention for about 8 nights what happened afterwards legi ñu leen japp won tek leen ben place lu tollu ci juroom ñetti fan gannaaw lool nak lan mo xew They knew all you gave me to sell. So you gave me to cow. I'm not being an office boy. Makfu, fufu lemi you. They took us out of the cells and uh, took us upstairs to an office. So when you for you, after they took us there, so you talk, police talk. I'm not saying being a commander. I'm a OC ladal. We sat down with the police and one of their OCs. This one white dress. He was dressed in white. So we need an advice. He was the one advising us. So we need advice. We prepare. We need to get a clean bill. After advising us, he asked if we could have someone to bail us. I said to him, yes, I will have someone to bail me. He asked me who is going to bail you. I told him my younger brother, my biological brother will bail me. That time he just uh, arrived from the UK. He bailed me. So he passed away two years ago like Fagany. He passed away two years ago. Ngitu da Pajop. His name was Pajop. Were you ever taken before a court nah. about this particular incident? Ci hewew bobu nak ndax mu son nañ len ci yobu court. No, you were in court. No, we were not taken to court. Even when we were bailing, we bail ñele. Even when I was built and the others were built also. Dañ nek di reporter di dem di ñew. We were reporting and going. So reporting about one to two months. We reported for well over two months. So legi ñu ñu dem len gën tok suñu len soxlé nañ len o. And then they asked us to stay and that when they needed us they will call us. Ben ñik bessa ci yalla tay fofu la em. Until today that's the end of it. Uh So it was the following year you started working at the GPA correct yes bon ci at ba ci tegu nak ci nga commencer di liggey GPA yes ci la liggey GPA and 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 what was your job at the GPA lan nga don liggey GPA ah mais Simon Simon la ah mais Simon did you have any particular functions at the time at the GPA jamono joju amna da lo xamne mo nekkon sa liggey fofu ci GPA wa amé dekkan ci bir gal gal won liggey asse selo yes am a dekkan on the ship and uh, you continue to work at the GPA uh, until 2011 and beyond nga continue nak di liggey fofu ci GPA ba atum 2011 ba lu ko wessu wow yes and uh, Could you tell us in 2011 where in the GPA you were working? Ning ñu mëna wax ci 2011 ci fan nga doon liggey ci ban fan ci GPA fan nga doon liggey. Wa bu wé ma ngi doon liggey ci gal gi ma ngi won ma ngi ci on the operation la nekka. All that while I was working on the ship on the operations. Uh, did you at any point in time moved on to ferries? amna wen jamono bo xamne nak taxu won nga dem ci ferry bi waaw gi man ferry suma life career fa la ko defé parce que gpa gpa ñoo ferry yes i did my life career on the ferries the ferries are owned by the gpa gambia ferry service is belongs to gpa 
Yep, you be no company below. All of them are under one company. So when you said that you were a deck hand, mm -hmm. were you referring to being a de deck hand on the ferries or in some other vessel? So I was here, you know, was a deck hand, mom go on. Bob time, na chip beer ferry, bunga ko don defe, wala chie nen gali. No chip beer ferry, we chip bob On the ferry in particular. While you were working at the ferry, did you have occasion to meet senior leaders of your party, the party you supported at the time? Binga lige hi ferry bi. Ndah binga amon na jamano yo hamne na ding dan muna gise akinjiti party binga hamne mom ga don faral jamano bubu. Every time I just spoke. Every time I saw them. Sumo ame so la chimu na mo faria dem. If I had any. Business to do with him, I would go to him. And when he is uh, crossing to go to the provinces, he usually called me. And when he comes to, I used to give him his due, do for him everything that he wanted. I'll take care of it. Being the convoys that will go along with him, I took care of all of that. I'll make sure that all the vehicles are on the ferry. But no, you are saying he, he, he. Who are you referring to as he? <coughs> Wait for the interpretation. Why young in and mom, mom. So only mom la na can la mo e can. Usain Udabo. That is Usain Udabo. The party leader. So whenever you say no, Mr. Dabo went on trek, uh, passing through the ferry, you would assist to get the convoy inside the ferry and uh, and to accord him uh, his due as you call it uh, what do you mean by his due mo ngi melni jamono jo xamene usaini dabo mo ngay jall ci feri bi ding ko de jappale ak moto yim andal yeb nga dugal ko ci feri bi jafal ko li nga xamne mom la yello so waxe ne lim yello nak moy lan wa lim elo mo mu duga ci feri bi his due is that he boards the the ferry man di nga ko jo vip treatment no ko yobu ko ci captain bir bi mu tok I'll give him a VIP treatment, take him to the captain's bridge where he will sit. Except if he tells me, except if he tells me I want to sit inside the vehicle. Except that, but if he wants to uh, alight from the vehicle, I'll walk him to the bridge where he will sit down. I was uh, doing that uh, for a long time, and that's where the targeting started from. But why were you doing it? Because I, used, I have to give him his due. He's an important personality. And he's my party leader too. I have to give him that status. <coughs> Excuse me. saying he was your party leader mm. were you formerly a member of the udp at the time yang ron wax ne sanjiti party la won ndax yow bindu won nga pour nek ko xamne da nga doomi party bi nga won jamono joju udp i'm a full member kanzu translation interpretation excuse me ah mune mom doomi party bu fess del la I have my party membership card. I will not get into something and then fun back. <laughs> when I go in, I go in wholeheartedly. I don't uh, backslide in what I do. All my membership card is with me. Uh, your membership into the UDP or in the UDP, did you make it known? Publicly. Because I accept anyone that doesn't know, but all know that I am a, a member of the UDP. Because I did not hide it. Because where you belong, if you belong to a party, why would you hide that? Fact? Everybody has a you know, choice of your choice of your party. Any Gambian. Kepako Hamnewa Gambian. I'm got Guruana Puruane, a yo Fangafeti, 
My membership of the UDP is where I was, they started targeting me at my place of work. Do you appreciate that at the time you were a public officer? I knew I was a civil servant. Well, you may not have been a civil servant, but you were definitely a public officer. That is true. And you appreciate that there are rules that govern uh, the involvement of public officers in politics. That is true. Um, but, Mr. Chair, I just want to refer to the, uh, the general orders and the code of conduct and public service rules and regulations. Uh, Yes, um, I just want to draw to um, section 3103, and it says as follows, that every officer is entitled to his own political views and may, if qualified, vote at elections. He may become a member of a political party or organization. But may not accept any office, whether paid or unpaid, permanent or temporary, in any political party or organization. No, may he make speeches, join in demonstrations, or in any other way indicate publicly his support for any political party or organization. Were you aware of that? That is something that is in existence, it's true. That is uh, clear truth. But the politics was in my blood. And I, I, couldn't I was born and I found my father in politics. And I inherited it from my father. Uh, that all that may be true. Mm -hmm. But the rules in public service indicate that you should not publicly make known uh, the political party or organization you support. Or be actively involved in political activities openly. That is true. So you would agree that while you made it known publicly that you were a UDP supporter and party member, you were violating the rules that governed your tenure as public officer. Uh, but, uh, 
lolu dafa melni ya nga yaxal loi bi nga xamne mom la sa liggey bi wara andal lolu moy degal lolu agree that is true thank you mr chair i ask that the revised general orders and code of conduct and public service rules and regulations be admitted as exhibit 122 kay bi dang ñu duggal ko ci bir kay ti cede yi tudde ko exhibit 122 uh request granted uh, council if you can just clarify general orders and uh, code of conduct are two different instruments or they uh, is just one instrument it's one document splendid thank you Well, Mr. Job, in as much as you you have agreed that you clearly violated the rules, Mr. Job, we may can now go and yo, ya hanga luabi, we change the survey. Degal, degal, degal. It's true, but it is equally true that during that time, a lot of public officers were showing their support for the APRC. Why, believe it, I'm not degal. I mean, I'm not your ham. I'm not your young don't like it. ignore_time_segment_in_scoring police officers even the soldiers i civil servant civil servants and you under whom you support you go with them supporting them so i'm also support your summer party so if i supported my party as a civil servant as a civil servant yeah jamme no da ka violate law bi moko ndaka ya ya jamme is the one who first violated the law moko ndaka ya hal law bi he first violated the law ah parce que da fa jene i civil servant because he took civil servants he took resource no resource government no government and he took government resources and then fell a million Well, in them amounting to millions. He used to find me in the provinces, and I will cross him over. They will give me a T-shirt, and I will tell them that I do not want it. I will never put on the Ajamas T-shirt. Because I don't like you. If I don't like you, I don't like your, your things. Even how the Sunday money used to be so clearly so, I don't like it. Even the money that he used to give on uh, during the tour uh, the, to the to the ferries. So if the law got violated, it is your job. You will go on tours and carry the entire office. You will want something from the office. You cannot have it. So yeah, we have law. So yeah, yeah, is the one who violated the law. And uh, you telling us that partisan politics uh, was normal in the public service at the time. especially in favor of the APRC. Mo da ngi muna wax ne far woné sa far far lo ci walli politique lu fesson la jamono bobu surtout nak ci fanni APRC bi ñoon faral. APRC lu fi nek fi kanso ñoko fi def. APRC everything that is here they did it. Ñun tamo ndey sa be suñ pop bi sax. We got to your time even at a report campaign matters ya jami suñu ni. Ben ya jami campaign materials came in. When they give you a T-shirt and you did not put it on, they will write your name. I am being a kid with a blacklist. There was uh, a, 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 a paper they call the blacklist. My name is going to be a chip black. My name is red list. I told them don't write my name on the black list. Write on the red list. I will not put it. I will not put it on. I will not put it on. I will take it and throw it back at you. They used to torment me. They wrote my name until they were fed up. And what was the purpose of this blacklist? Alan mo taxon ñuy binda tour ci keyit yoy ñoo wax ne blacklist. Wa parce que suñu jëye t-shirt sonu loko. Because when they, when they issue with a t-shirt and you fail to put it on, they will write your name. Suñu paré ñu bu ko managing director. When they are done, they will take it to the managing director. For what purpose? Wa pour ñu won jublu way bi pour target you are you are you are against yaya jami. To target you because you are against yaya jami. Parce que pour défendre mon extrême droite, il faut politicaliser. Because the, it got to a point where the ports was politicalized, politicized. Yeah, yeah. So you like can't lie. Don't go and be a liar, Jamie. If you are Jamie, tells you can't lie to go and uh, farm for him. They list the people to remain. They will take uh, down the a list. Man, say you are Jamie. My name is Mo Tour. Binalan, go do my be a liar, Jamie. Each time they came to me, I told them write down my name, but I will not 
plan for your jammy. I'm not going to be a Where would I plan for your jammy to eat? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is before that, I'll, me, I'll farm for myself. For staff, you learn canilla, you know, must not have a canilla for me. All the staff of the port used to go to canilla, but I cannot even tell you where canilla is situated. What was, what, in view of all this, what became your relationship with the management of the GPA at the time? <laughs> Yo, so digging to a killifying hamna yona called Chipot Bijamano Bobu. Nakala Melon. Now Banyo. They hated me. Uh could you take could you take that again? They may hate Rundal anyway. Well, they made a fault enemy. They hated me, they made me their enemy. Runit. Not all. Managing director will remove hate on the modern fight. It was only the managing director who hated me, who was fighting me. Because very close to Ayajami. Because he was very close to Ayajami. And who was that? Modlamin Jiba. Modlamin Jiba. Could you tell us what happened? Why are you saying this? Ring you are looking at Luta Hangawa and Mola Banyon. Because the fire was not complaining. Because he was complaining a lot about me. Oh, no, my dear officer. He called me twice to his office and said to me, I have your complaints here opposition. that you are an opposition, you, you are opposed to Ayajami. I said to him, yes, I am against him. I said to him, you are APRC, not so. You, support. you, are, you support him, but I cannot support him. We are not of the same direction, you and I. Even even the prophet, not all uh, uh, like him. Not talk less of a president. Uh, should everyone like the president? People uh, can like him. If at all, he's a president who was uh, straightforward, who was doing things that are right. They would like him, but still now, you will have some who would not like him. Those who do not like him, I, I was among those. I cannot like him. On 31st September 2011, did anything happen at the ferry terminal which led to a meeting between yourself and uh, the managing director, then managing director of GPA? January, January, September, Atum, 2011. January, Fanabena, where is September, boom. Ndah, I'm not done alone. I'm not here on na be sabab nakndaje bo. I'm not daje ngako akili fogo budgeto on por bifufu. Managing director Modlamin Jiba. Yes, the managing director Modlamin Jiba. It was in 2011. It was in 2011. And you tell us what happened? Wow, Yes, what happened was that. Time we Johe ferry we At that time, the Johe ferry was still in operation. When Johe ferry la I was on board the Johe ferry. You know the Banjul. When we loaded at Banjul, Dambara. Crossing over to Bara. You make a Bara discharge for load. We were in Bara, we discharged and uh, we were loading. My telephone be ring. I got a call. My receive call me. I received the call. You make a be a security officer. You go away Jobate. It was one security officer called Jobate. Right now, he's in America. Right now, he's in America. When I'm a fallen He asked me, where are you now? When I go to the Bara, the load. I told him we are here in Bara, we are loading, about to depart to Banjul. He said to me, as soon as you depart, I will be at the Banjul uh, terminal waiting for you. Okay. I said to him, okay. He said to me, I've got a message for you. God willing, uh, we landed at Banjul. The ferry discharged. The ferry discharged. All the vehicles uh, came off. I came out of the, the ferry and uh, onto the terminal. Then I flew to the terminal. I found them standing. I told him, Jobate, here I am. He said to me, the MD has sent me that you should go and uh, answer to him. Who was MD at the time? Jiba. MD, Lamin Jiba. Lamin Jiba. Is he the same as Mumadulamin Jiba? Jiba. 
proceed, please. I told him go, I will come. I said to him, after we loaded, before the ferry departs, I will inform my boss that the MD needs me. You referring to your conversation with Jobate, correct? Yes. Do you recall Jobate's full name? I forgot his name, but I full name. Him. he's not working. He's in so he's a senior officer, senior security officer. He was a GPA. senior security officer at the, the GPA. The interpretation kept saying he, he, he. Uh, what sex is Jobate, male or female? Jobate security officer. Jobate is male. He was a security officer. Okay. So proceed, please. I said to him, after the ferry has loaded, I will come. So ferry will load. The ferry loaded. I told my boss that I am going to the MD's office. I wouldn't be able to join this trip. Let them go. Madam head office. I went to the head office. I climbed upstairs. I met the secretary. MD I said to the secretary, the MD has sent for me to meet him. The secretary said to me that he was busy. Set. He got inside and checked and said to him, Mr. Job has arrived. And he said, tell him to wait for me for a little while. There are people who are here to see me. I sat down there for a long time. When those uh, people left, she got inside and spoke to him. She came out and uh, he said to her, tell him to come in. I got up, knocked on the door, and he said to me, come in. I got inside, he told me to sit down, and I sat down. He took out one paper from inside his drawer. He said to me, I called you. He said to me, I've got your complaint here. He said to me, it's not once, it's not twice. Okay, carry on. I said to him, okay, carry on. Don't explain. He started explaining. He said, uh, when Usain Odabu is crossing over, I am the one that usually took him to the captain's bridge to sit down VIP treatment. and give him a VIP treatment. I said to him, yes, that is true. I said to him, it's not just once. Each time he's passing, crossing, and I am here, I used to take him to the captain's bridge. I said to him, Useno is a Gambian. He pays tax. And he's uh, an important person. There are some who are not so important and they are crossing over and are going to the captain's bridge. And so to have someone as important as Oseno Dabo taken to the captain's bridge and you telling me that I shouldn't do that. And he told me that he was informed that I was a dead opposition, a dead opposition at the terminal. I said to him, yes, it's true. Whatever they said about me is true. I said to him, what I am doing, I am not hiding. Because they came and they gave you my complaint. Yes, those that will come and give you complaints about me. You've never called me. It is only today that you called me. And today, therefore, I shall tell you what is in my heart. And I told him what is was in me. Which was? I told him, you called me. You told me the reason for, for, for your calling me. Each time Oseno passes, you are the one who took him to the captain's bridge. Oseno is my party leader. 
I told him that Osenu is my party leader. And any treatment that I can give him, which will make him satisfied, I will give him. I am manage, managing director. You are the managing director? <laughs> decide, huh? You decide. You decide. drawer began a paper. He pulled this drawer, took out one paper. And started to write. I asked him what about the note, and he told me it's not your concern. I said to him, okay. He said, I will make sure that I victimize you. Okay. I said to him, okay. I said, I will wait for that day until it comes. He told me, you, could, you can go out and go. I went and uh, realized that the ferry had uh, got to Bara. I was on the ground there until the ferry returned. I continued my duties. Day of, of day. Until the day I was to go on off. Which was how many days thereafter? Three days. Three days. Of three days. You work three days and uh, take your off for three days. Three, three days. So three days you some off day when you terminal. So the you the course of the three days off, I came to the terminal. I was there until night time. What to me and suddenly I saw three people coming. They were dressed in a suit and tie. I know that they had described to them the clothes I was wearing. Because I was standing by the ram. They came up to where I was standing and they greeted me. I responded. But in my mind, I thought these people were just uh, people who don't have a vehicle and they were uh, wanting to, people. You know, you are Mr. Job. Uh, he so, so. said he thought that these are people who wanted to cross. Okay, thank you. <coughs> and they asked me, Are you Mr. Job? I said to them, Yes. And they said, they, We wanted to see you. I said, Yeah. Okay, let's go. My then, let's go. I told them, let's go. So you get it. Exit gate. From the jack again, I can pass that side again. We went through the exit door where you have the mosque. At this stage, did they tell you who they were? They didn't tell you who they were. No, we were not there. At that time, they didn't tell me anything. They were not going to get it. They told me they only wanted to see me. So I went along with them, so I went along with them, and we went out. You get it, Wellington Fufu. We went out just there at the Wellington. Former hotel, Basi Rujarabi, Adonis. The, at the Adonis, Pastor Jaurus from hotel. Why did you agree to go with them all the way to Adonis? No, no. Leaving, leaving your duty station at the no, terminal. No, 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 off. I was on off duty. I'm on your terminal. I just came to the terminal. I was on off day by that time. But that aside, mm. why did you agree to go with them? These were strangers to you. Lutang, Lutang, and I am the Gina Becham Berdama. Tell me, I can learn what is a booty. Wow, what do you want to say? The way they are dressing, hunger. I'm not trusting them, right? Because it's the way I saw them, the way they were dressed. Just to from trust them. You can have a motor and you run. Where is the custom? Behind the vehicles were lined up. All the way to custom the custom. Okay, I'm an occasion behind one. There was an occasion that time. No, a gamo, a dal. It was probably a gamo. Why must we mind you from the I'm a vehicle to cross. In my mind, I thought they had a vehicle which they wanted to cross. You know, the work of uh, someone at the terminal, each time you see someone, you think they have a vehicle they, they want to cross over. They pick up. Behold, they had, they had a pickup vehicle. Pickup Bangigala, Hill Street, for just what Adonis. The pickup was parked at Hill Street, close to Adonis. Hill Street or Orange Street? No, no, no yes, no, Hill Street. No, Adonis Fufu. By Adonis. That should be Orange Street. Wow. Orange Street. So when I get when we got there, Chimutubi, at the vehicle, you know when NIA officer. They told me we are NIA officers. When you left uh, Mr. Jiba's office three days earlier. Did he mention anything about the NIA? Remember you told us, he said, I will make, I will victimize you. 
Did he say anything about the NIA at well, that time? Well, when the Yes, he told me. What did he say about the NIA? He said to me, I will make sure that the NIA arrests you. That was where I separated from him and I went my way. But uh, that uh, statement did not surprise me. Definitely. He did it. So, so when you went with these gentlemen to the vehicle and they told you that they were NIA officers, what came to your mind? My mind reflected back to what he had told me earlier. What who told you? What you said. My mind reflect direct. My mind reflected directly to it. And what happened after that? In the vehicle. They were all standing. They opened the door. We are officers. They told me we are NIA officers. You are under arrest. You are under arrest. I said yeah. No problem. No problem. I sat in, I went inside and I was sandwiched. The driver started the engine. So we We departed. Then We took a bend to the Bokul Street. There they put two polluting bags over my head. We continued. Behold, all that time we were headed to the NIA. But all the time the vehicle was running. But when we arrived, I did not see. But how I heard the doors being opened and how they were cranking, I said to myself, we have arrived at the NIA. We arrived. When we were departing, I was handcuffed. I was handcuffed inside the vehicle. So plastic bag. And then they put these two polythene bags over my head. So when we arrived at the NIA, they brought me down. We got office. We got into the office. office. When we got into the office, they removed the handcuff. I found Fode Bari there. And uh, Fode Bari, what was he doing there? I don't know his position, but he was a senior, senior, uh, senior officer. He was uh, among the bosses there. I asked them, he said to them, You brought him? And that's the guy. And they said to him, "Yes, uh, this is the guy." Uh, 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 are you suggesting that Mr. Barry knew that you were being brought to the NIA? When she saw him, the husband of the family, Mr. Barry, mom, how many men you lay in the NIA? Because he gave him the order. I'm sure. Because he gave him the order. I'm sure. Send boss. Let me send boss. Fufu. He was there, boss. There. You must arrest. I give you one touch. You will be arrested. Those who arrested me and those who tortured me are not the same. No, they are in the office. They brought me to his office. Well, that's the guy. And uh, they told him that is the guy. So he told them to search me. So you search me, both side. They searched me. They, they took out my wallet. My papers, ID card, you found My papers, my ID card were all inside. So my UDP membership card was in wallet. My UDP membership card was also inside the wallet. Principal. <laughs> <laughs> evidence wow. against you. Wow. <laughs> clear, very clear evidence. Wow. Yes. It was inside my wallet. It was inside my wallet. I said, you see what I am telling you. This guy is headstrong. Who said that? Who said that? For everybody himself. He said, this guy is headstrong. You see what I was telling you. 
He said that they should take me. They took me to one office. I found uh, one desk there. There are two, there were two chairs placed there also. I found four other boys. They are tough guys. They were tough people, guys. They were not small people. They were drunk there. Do you know their names? I'm going to say to you. I don't know their names. Max. It was in the night, but and they were all dressed in masks. They were putting on masks. When they are doing these things, council, you would not be able to recognize them. Can you hear me talk? One of them told me to sit down. Madam, they told me to sit as I was about to sit down, he kicked the chair. And I fell down. He told me to sit on the floor. He said to me, we have been tracking you for a long time. But today, we have you. When you were being sent to that office, did Fode and the others know what was going to happen to you? When you were able to go to the office, you were able to go to the office and you were able to go to the office. Wow, you were able to go to the office. Yes, you were able to go to the office already. Yes, because he gave the order already. You were able to go to the office. Those that brought me, you were able to go to the office and you were able to go to the office. He gave them the order that once they uh, handed me to the others, he will tell them what next to do. Mr. Job, you are on the oath, and this is very important. Speak the absolute truth. Mr. Job, danga wad teli bunta bilo amsolola wahal ni dega wichineka. What did Fode say to make you believe that he knew that you were going to be tortured? Lala Fode wah beta hanga gomne mom hamna ne denyo dem pudor la. Because when I came to his office, he said to me, after I part ways with you, even your wife, you would be useless to her. Who told you that? Fode Chibobab. Fode himself. Which Fode? Fode Fode. Fode Bari. This is your testimony. Lolo Moe Sakani. Yes. This is what he said to me when I part with, with, with you. In fact, he spoke to me in Mandinka. Can you tell us what he said in Mandinka? What he, what he told me in Mandinka is uh, after we part with, if in your wife you will not have any use for her. That is that was what he said to me from his own mouth. How did you understand that to me? Or what do you understand that to me at the time? Lemla wahe wahe lo lo fok na waham bo lo la teki. Because the the way they beat me up. And the suffering they caused me. After he said that. What happened? Did he say anything else after he said that? Bimla wa hello lube pare. Na tega na chilene. Wa na chilene. Wow, you. I'm not even gonna leave. I'm not gonna go again. I'm not you. After he handed me over, and they took me. So you hand over to be in office. So they handed me over to another office. Oh, good enough. Good enough. It was at night time. That was in the night. Of no doing for. At around what time? Around four. You know, from four eleven to twelve. Dal. Between 11 and 12. Why torture bangi door 1 a.m. But the torture started at 1 a.m. With my door. After they beat me. So yeah. that office, how many were you? Did you find there? You said was it three or two? Office what bangi for your boy? Niyata ni ndafa feka. Niyata wala niyabi. Niyenti ponka lava feka. I found four hefty men there. And you said they were drinking alcohol. Yeah, Mandi. Yeah, they were drinking Mandi. You get the case in Sangara. They placed a keg of alcohol. What no, a what, keg. what type? What okay. kind of alcohol? Ban fasa mi Sangara. Guinness. I had liquor. There was Guinness. There was hard liquor. Whiskey. Yang kugis ne chibuti le niyan tanga sarai sale. He will see uh, all of those in bottles placed. Okay. And you were saying that uh, they asked you to sit and they kicked. The, the the chair from yeah. under you and you fell down. Yeah.
Ngane nyuna langa tok, ngade mbe tok chi togo vi rek nuwe khako nga danu chi suu. Would you take it from there? Jele ko fufu. Happen next? Bugu ma danu. After I fell, ina ma simekun. They told me to undress. Undress? I undressed. Pare? After? Ma tege suma yere yi. I packed my clothes where you left with any item of clothing on you. Bangani sume kuluna, nda amna dara lo desa chihiri chisaya. Bangani sume kuluna, nda amna dara lo desa chihiri chisaya. Bangani sume kuluna, I had my underwear on. Did they ask you to remove that too? No. Wane nyaga gi sume dros bi? No. No. And then what happened after that? Nain dur nak, dur di madur. Then they started to beat me up. We madure. With what? I leave. Lande nyaga don dure. I leave la. ไอ้ลีฟลีฟล่ะไม่ลีฟลีฟล่ะไม่ลีฟล่ะไม่ลีฟล่ะไม่ลีฟล่ะไม่ลีฟล่ะไม่ลีฟล่ะไม่ลี
and that was where I would lie down. That was where I got chronic pneumonia. And because I walk at, at the sea, it makes it even worse. Up till date. How many days were you made to sleep in that, uh, in that, uh, on that cold floor? Over two months. For over two months, I was under detention. Uh, but uh, the very first night that you went, that you were taken to or torture. Mm -hmm. Apart from being beaten with leaf and uh, cigarette butts being put out on your on your on your feet or on your legs rather, did they do anything to you? Did they use any other form of torture against you? Well, yes. So the gunja kaginga hamne na kinyong la don def meti talio you de la door ay karawas de fei ay cigarette si sayaramu na hamna yani infaso ni meti talio hamne def na nila kofa. Yes, there was one which they did to me, which was very painful. Tell us about it. They electrocuted me on my private part. They electrocuted it. That was why what Fore told me that I will be useless. To, for my, to, to my wife, that was since since my. Oh, sorry, I am finished. Sorry, my wife left since after that. Council, I'm finished. If we got to the restroom, I could show you the extent of the injury. Up to date. That is, is with me. Positive and negative. Positive. Red and black. Red and black. Everything they put on my body. Up till date, I am suffering from the consequences. <sighs> they electrocuted you. Yeah. Yeah. You lost your manhood as a result. Yeah. Up to date, your wife left you. Yeah. Yes, my wife left. Were they saying anything when they were electrocuting you? Wow. Yes, when we are done with your wife, you will be and that will be the end of you. I have only one child, a daughter. I named her after my sister. Afterwards, they took you back to the cell and uh, poured cold water on the floor, and you were asked to lie on that floor all night. Gana lolo, ni duga la la cha selba, jelinda hum gala sorti koshi darbi, nenga tete chif. Set. Adulala ndefa, mmoja adamko def. That was what I used to do. Robin. There was no way, no way. You, you had to, have to do, do it. it. And see me. In the end, I used to it. And I would spread it so that it would uh, soak in some of the water. Between the cold water and the cold water. Yes. Yeah. That's where I used to put it. As it. far as you know, who was supervising your torture? You know, All of it was for the All that happened to me is the cause because he told me. 
Just as I told you in Mandinka. If I'm done, if you're your wife, you will have no use for her. So that was the instruction they followed. For how long were you at the NIA premises? I was there for two months. How many times were you tortured apart? How many times were you tortured during those two months? They beat me up four times. Every goodie. Every night. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. 2 a.m. And then they will bring me back. I was unable to have food. I remembered where I ate. It was one security guard. I don't even know his name. There were some women who sold food along the Independence Drive. That guy, when they the close work during the night, I don't even know him. I think he just sympathized me. security. He's a security. It could be me. Nobody knows. He would go and buy half bread. And put in some beans there. And then uh, put it inside his pocket. When he walks around until he gets to where I was, he will throw it inside the cell. And then he will tell me, brother, try and eat. Half mayonnaise. They will give you half loaf of bread with some mayonnaise. They beat you up and take you. And when they are taking you, they will give you half bread. If you want, you could go on a hunger strike. Who told you that? Which four are you referring to? Everybody said to me, if you wish, you could go on a hunger strike. Boy, I have my money here. I told them, I have my money with me. Go and buy me food. And he said no. So about to four to five, six hundred dollars, something like that. Dollar. I had between four and six hundred dollars. Go to my bill card. Inside my wallet. I have more money for the highest possible sum. But when I left that place, I did not even see that money. Did you have a prior personal problem with four day bari? Na four day bari bala lolo. Na four amben yote yabo amagmo. Wa muna amnak paski hamna mumba hamante ne. Mone ka CID. It could be because we we are well acquainted. When he was a CID, that time, people like Mbanjai, we were CID and others. It was a long time. It could be that he had something against me. It could be. It is possible. But on this occasion, you were arrested because you were a UDP militant. You are arrested because you a UDP militant. Yes, that's it. That was my main problem with them. So, apart from these four incidents of torture, you were no longer never tortured again at the NIA. I never been NIA. I have been to 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 NIA. Were you taken to the hospital? No. No, I never went to the hospital. After man, madam, you madam, they were some treatment. After I was the one, so I came to body side. Took myself for treatment. I'm on medical papers. Body wise, you put you put the for yaga. I had my medical papers, but they are lost. Misplaced some bagasi. I'm not there because I misplaced them. It's been a long time. I'm not even figure here once. There are some that I handed over here. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, after two months, you uh, were you released? 
months after two months mm. after the two months we were taken to we were taken to remand we were taken to remand were you taken before any court you have court madam court i have never been to any court what was the basis of your being taken to remand wa yobu bi nga yobu na remand mom fuñ ko wër because they took me from the NIA to remind because at the NIA I was unable to take a bath there was no place I could take a bath but when I was taken on to, to remind that was where I was able to have access to water because the clothes I wore were all destroyed one of the boys I met at the remand he was the one who borrowed me a trousers and a shirt he said to me my older brother try and put on this because you cannot continue putting on the ones you have on you I was there for one month you took me in a direct you so we were there and then one day they came you didn't list they came with a list who came you am saying you know you prison officer the prison officers you want list they came with a list we do as in when they came in remind bank bari nit there were many people in remand they don't am din pina ci list ba ñu leen ñu pour o leen there were some whose names were on the list and they had come to call them out so bu ñe ñu call ñoñu so when they came they called those ones we all got away about whose whoever's name is been called you stand aside look oma i was called madam join nyele i went and joined you know man we got to have nyele and they told me no uh, you stand this other way your so problem for me is different your problem and uh, this people's problem is different so we assemble nyu ba pare after they assemble those guys until they were done we went to be on a truck they put them on board a truck na dañu ñu yobu court dal I think they were taking them to court. No such problem how much on. I don't even know what their problem is. So bugay pare ñu oma. So after they were done they called me. You know makai. They said to me come. And I know I went with them. You must be in office out of remand. They took me to another office out of remand. You know matogal. They told me to sit down. You gene be na paper. They brought out one paper. You know put man ma sign ko. And they asked me to sign it. man lan lay sani man li dum ko sign parce que how man wa sign i asked what am i going to sign i will not sign this man amote police amote prisina isa ma tedi ma kaso sentence ma am a prisoner i am not sentenced i'm just you know, detention la nek on the remand i am a, a detainee uh, at the remand so man li dum ko sign so i will not sign this bye to ma tok i sat down bye pare after they were done you dey lowad ma they took me back I'm not after one week. I think after one week, so I'm released from the remand finally. That was when I was finally released from the remand. You were in my court. They didn't take me to court. They were in my dara. They didn't do anything to me. They me gena rek. They took me out. Me gena ke talebi. They told me to go out. I went outside around to the highway. 10 o'clock. Around 10 o'clock. Mo duga ci bamé li fu bu gana pam group. I went by the cemetery by pam group. Pam tigeji. Went to the uh, seaside. Ma sangu. I took a bath from Palm Grove of Watna for Fla Dohe ci Big Bi from Watna I walked along the beach be aga ci Big Bi Banjoun fofu until I got to the beach in Banjoun madam Sinker I went to our home during all this time uh, were your family members aware of uh, where you were jamono joji yep nak ndax sa mbokay xamone nañ fi nga nek wa kene rek xamone nako mari suma bena jarbat one uh, uh, niece of mine knew where i was and her name was mari ko ko ngay say dakar she married in dakar a problem fi la ko feka but the problem found her here ko ko mo ma dal ñew di ñew set ci she was the one that usually came to visit me why said na ma fu na ñaari yoon she visited me i think twice she la ko gay na stop na bu fa ñewati that was when she was stopped from coming but apart from this mari Did you see any of your family members uh, while you were in detention? Gana mari mi nak jamono ji ngatiye fofu ndax gison nga ken ci sambokay parce que son sister ma bokal bu ne su ñe ga ñu ko randangu sa mudu wa My biological sister said that uh, each time she came they never allowed her to come in. Ku ñu bokay ay 
We are from the same mother. And so we are from the same mother. Each time she comes there, you should tell her that he is not here. Mm -hmm. How about your wife at that time? Sa jabar nak jamanu bubu. Bubu ornar. Bubu ornar kansul. Bubu find a way up. She found a way. So, when you finally made it home, did you go to the hospital? Yes, I went to the hospital to check myself. Each time I used to go for checkup, and I was uh, giving some medication. So when I go, they prescribe for me, and I will buy. Because you cannot get all of it at the hospital during that time. And what happened to your job? After I fired. I was fired. When were you fired? 2011. You were arrested in September. When were you fired? When you arrested, where is September? When were you at the moment? I cannot recall. It was 2011. But it was in 2011. Mr. Chair, I have only one subject, one more topic to deal with. That is his last encounter with the PIU uh, in uh, April 2016. Um, so perhaps we can leave it at that for now. And uh, we will take that subject after lunch. That's OK, yeah, my counsel. We can proceed them uh, accordingly. Thank you. Uh, we will take a one-hour lunch break and come back at um, half past two. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Not only the new chup, but bulani he new chup allah, but parenak nyaw allah. Nyaw film kita seti nak rakyat nyaw fully. Nyati nyaw kat lain am, am ni nyaw kat sample. Ngah am ni you know kopot direct bar, defsa tay bar, defsa dagit, defsa rubber, amud bend daume. Am ni ko am ni monyo daume. 
daw me jigen dan amnañ tamit special ñew kat bo xamne ñewi go rek la ño defal nga bëgg sa hissan hars muy korete muy tobaski mba muy ngenté muy taka mba nga bëgg rek you know def sa yëkë bu baaxa baaxa baax daagul ba ñew skin care plus ñu dimbali la tanal la ciup fam gëna baaxé ndax sa yëkë gëna for li ngene lan xol bi bi taka la skin care feel of legi en tay we not all about skin we are skin care and the plus and the plus does come in so many different ways <laughs> Miss V Designer Outlet is the number one quality and affordable stop shop for all your needs. Get your evening dresses, suit and ties, office wears for both ladies and gentlemen, beach wears, sport wears, pure leather shoes for men, quality belts, bags, heels for all beautiful ladies, original perfumes, accessories and lot more.
Find us at Kololi New Road opposite Gaddafi Mosque at the Aqua Preacher Station or call us on 295-3411 or 764-2486. Miss B Designer Outlet. Shop right, look good. abroad and want to build your dream home in the Gambia without risking your funds and family ties? Do you want a household name that is trustworthy and efficient? A name that will continue to give you updates on the project from the beginning to the very end with videos and pictures? If your answer is yes, then worry no more. Boss Construction and Asset Management is here for you. If you live outside the Gambia and want to build your dream home, then this is ideal for you. Just reach out to Boss Construction and let's start building the dream home into a reality. With Boss Construction, the difference is clear. We give you value for money. Some of our services include the following. Construction management, building equipment rentals, rent management, purchase and leasing, asset management and many more. For more information, please contact 282-4945. Better still, send us an email bossgambia at gmail.com or you can also visit our website on www.bossgambia.com Boss Construction, a name you can trust. Boss Construction and Asset Management, keeping families together. Yo, no, I didn't buy any more. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> Think about it, welcome, welcome. Uh, basically, lots of lala me along with school, man, that I can really relax. What the madam? Yeah, what the madam? Let him do some money. Ah, that's right. Ah, uh, that's right. Slowly. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm in the bar. I'm in the bar. Yeah, actually, lot of people are basically near local very large. So, it's going to happen. I'm going to be scared. 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 i Like a paradise. I know. I'm 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 I